Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the brand new Honda CRV 2024 model plug-in hybrid. And in this video, we will make the full review, interior, exterior, material quality, technical data, everything about this car you will find out in this video. So stay with me because it will be a very, very interesting car. Honda make phenomenal cars and this one, it's, it's a special one. So stay with me until the end. I want to give you some technical data before we start the review exterior interior and also I want to tell you that we are here in Switzerland in Bern at Werner Blunier AG the Honda Center in Bern you can check them out I will leave the link in the description they are super nice so if you want to come here test drive the car see the car buy the car check them out they are super nice now let's start with the technical data and then we will start the review so first of all as i said i have the crv version plug-in hybrid that come with a two liter petrol engine combined with an electric motor and a battery it's a front wheel drive version and in this plug-in hybrid version you can get it 404 or a four wheel drive you can get it only front wheel drive that's something to keep in mind from the beginning now the price of the car with all the options that i will show you right now because this is the advanced version that means advanced tech version actually is the top end version here in switzerland and the price of it with everything all the options like panoramic glass roof heating seat heated steering wheel ventilated seats heated seats and both sound system and a lot of safety features new digital screen i will show you everything the the price of it it's 62,000 francs round there so I will add the price in euro so you can make an idea and also you can see here on the other side this is advanced tech version that comes with a lot of cool features 18 inch rims panoramic glass roof head-up display it comes also with my Honda app of course that comes standard as well but yeah more and more 360 degrees camera i will show you later it's super cool yeah i will go through all the details a little bit later now let's go to the technical data so as i said before the car come with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line combined with an electric motor it's a front wheel drive system and also the car can drive only in electric mode can drive in a mixed mode or can drive only with a petrol engine that mean if you want to change the those features you can change it somewhere when you drive it in the way you drive so you can change them from the button down here anyway the estimated VLTP only in electric mode it's around 73 kilometers probably in real life you will get around 50 kilometers depend on the weather depend on the temperature and depend the way you driving another important thing is that this power is connected to a zero speed automatic transmission it's a CVT transmission with one speed that means everything will be so smooth like you probably see on RAV4 this is a great competition I should say for RAV4 and I'm really curious to see it on the street and of course we will do the test drive so stay close to see the test drive I will do it a little bit later today so I'm super super excited about that the maximum speed of the car it's 193 km per hour and the power of the car 184 horsepower 183 newton meters is not a super sporty car but for a family suv that want to be economical as possible want to give you all the comfort i think it's more than enough fuel consumption around 1.6 liter is the estimated consumption and talking about the battery a little bit it comes with a 17.7 kilowatt hour battery you can charge it at on board board loading station 6.8 kilowatt in around 2.5 hours if you want to charge it at home probably you will have to wait around eight hours to be fully charged if you drive only in electric mode the consumption will be around 15.5 kilowatt hour so this is super super important to keep in mind the boot space you have 617 liters super much space there it's a crazy crazy practical car and if you fall down the seats completely then you will have 1710 liters the great part is that 
those seats from uh, Honda, they are super intelligent. So in all Honda cars, almost all Honda cars have a super intelligent system where the, the down part of the seats go even lower and it gives you a flat floor with a lot of, lot of space there. So practicality, it's incredible good. The weight of the car, 1,991 liters. Plug-in hybrid version, it's able to pull up to 1,500 kilograms, where on the normal version, it's around 750 if I'm not wrong. So this is also an advantage for those of you that have trailers or caravans. The fuel tank capacity, 46 liters. The turning circle, 11 meters. Also, the car come with independent McPherson suspension with coil spring and anti-roll bar in the front and independent multi-link spring suspension with stabilizer on the rear. So the suspension should be really good. We will test that on the test drive. Ventilated brake disc on the front and ventilated brake disc on the rear. Also, if I'm not wrong, the car come with 19 inch wheels, but I will have to check. I also forget, but they look really nice. I will show you when we go outside. So those are the most important technical data. If you still have question, if I miss something, ask me down below in the comment. I will answer you with pleasure. So let's start the review guys exterior interior and then in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it this is the key a very small 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 key like a finger and very light i like that very much what you can do with the key of course you can lock and unlock the car it comes also with keyless entry so you don't have to uh, press a button you just come here to the handle put your finger here lock the car it comes also if you want to unlock it you just come to the car put your hand here and you can see how the system works really fast it's very responsive so uh, it works really good i like that then it comes also with electric folding mirrors of course very very useful feature then we have the button for the trunk from here you open the trunk all you have to do you just press it the thing is that you have to hold it until the trunk it's open in order to open it up but it works also very very fast and this is a good thing then you just press it here you have the buttons there and then you close the trunk now i want to turn on the lights and uh, go to the exterior first of all if we think about the previous version and we look at this brand new crv we see a huge difference in terms of design and also the car look just fabulous much more masculine much more powerful mature much more attractive and sporty from my point of view i like much much more this new version it's, it's the same change as i saw in other car manufacturers where they change the design of the car in a big way this is happening also here on honda with this crv much much nicer on the exterior and also we, you will see when we go inside also there it's a big big difference in terms of also multimedia system cockpit steering wheel everything look much better much futuristic and it's it's a big big huge competitor for other other uh, car companies for example even the the toyota have a big competition right now in this crv from my point of view because now honda these days want to come and they come also with full hybrid system and plug-in hybrid system extremely good systems and reliable system and i think from my point of view those days between honda toyota nissan as well those japanese car manufacturers are incredible good when it comes to to hybrid and plug-in hybrid systems so i see here a big big competition it's extremely hard to choose one car but now when when it comes to design i think uh, honda really comes stronger from behind with this beautiful beautiful uh, crv from my point of view look gorgeous i like also this combination between white and chrome and a little bit of black glossy even the rims i did a mistake a little bit earlier i said that it has 19 inch wheels it has 18 inch wheels installed right now but you can go up to 19 inch wheels with the car and they are black glossy and they look really nice in the combination with this white white exterior now from the back design i see a little bit of design taking from volvo right if we look at the lights here the tail lights look a little bit like they take in this shape from volvo car and if you look from this angle you will definitely think like it is looking like a volvo right it's just my opinion i don't know it looks nice of course it looks business and it looks so attractive and sporty but yeah this is just my opinion we have some roof rails in glossy black plastic then we have the antenna 
that it's very nice, a shark tail, very modern. Then we come here to the roof spoiler that looks also super cool. I like that it's black gloss in combination with white. It's always, always a nice combination. Here we have the brake light, LED, tinted windows on the back, tinted windows on the side. Something that I don't understand, to be honest, is this chrome here. I mean, chrome look nice, but when you have other combination of chrome, if you have chrome on the rims, chrome on the back, you have a little bit of chrome on the exhaust pipes there, fake exhaust pipes, but in the front, not so much. And I don't understand why they didn't paint or add those glossy black edges also around the windows. That will look much nicer because in the front, you can see a lot of glossy black, piano black, piano black here. And yeah, that chrome there, I think was nicer if they change it, but this is no problem. If you buy the car, you can do it yourself super easy right now on the roof it's also a glass roof panoramic glass roof that looks phenomenal other than that everything looks just super modern i like the fact that no bulb light on the car everything it's led light and i love that even this light it's only one light here on the number plate and then you have the reverse camera you have the honda logo with a little bit of blue inside that signify the electricity. We have full LED on the tail lights. Very nice design on the tail lights. I like, I like those signature here. You can see that comes from Honda. So you know it's a Honda. It looks really nice. Even the turning signals, really nice, interesting signature and the reverse light as well. So everything it's LED, even the fog lamp. You can see the fog lamp right there on the left side. So yeah from this point of view i have nothing to complain big windows great visibility from the interior i will show you when we go inside but yeah i would definitely paint this in black the handles and the doors are also pretty big and also the quality of them it's quite nice and also when you close the door it sounds really really good as a good quality even in the back here now they are locked let me unlock it you can hear the doors when you close it it's nice. I mean, the quality is good. Great. Now, in the front on the windshield, right here, we have some cameras and sensors for raining. The sensors are here. Cameras are there for reading the traffic speed limit. All that safety features are working from there. And also the lane assist. And here we have the radar behind the logo of uh, Honda. And under the radar, we have the camera. Radar, it's working with adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, all that safety features. Also in the front, I don't know, the front with those aggressive line, it looks a little bit like Volkswagen Touareg. It's just my opinion. Yeah, you know, Touareg airline. It looks kind of the same with this glossy, glossy plastic here. And then a little bit of glossy plastic and then the grill, glossy plastic. It looks nice. I mean, it's, it's a nice touch. You know, they take a little bit from everywhere and they make a very nice uh, looking car from my point of view. Then even in the front, we have full LED light. Even the high beam, even the low beam, it's completely LED. So the, the low beam is on the side and in the middle, we have the metrics high beam that it's adaptive. And then we have this beautiful following turning signals. Up to, to date, I should say, uh, the car, it's really, really nice. I love the glossy plastic here, huge air intakes on the grill, another grill air intake down here to allow the air to go inside. Six parking sensors on the front. And then we have also here some black mat on the side. Very nice design on the bumper. It's very aggressive. So it wanna be a little bit sporty and aggressive. And then another element that from my point of view, I saw it so much time on the American cars, at least on Ford. So you see this, light reflector on the side in yellow. So you see little elements from everywhere. They make a completely nice car. So I like that. Another thing that I like very much are the sharp edges and lines. This sharp edge that goes across the car look nice. And also on the hood here, the hood is a little bit more extended in the front. All those sharp edges and even from the side, if we go a little bit from the side, we can see those lines that come across the car look really nice. Another thing that I like 
is the fact that here around the edges of the wheels we have this plastic protection in the same color as the car so this will protect the paint of the car in case you scratch it they can change it very easy and also on the down part here and also down here on the down skirt where the doors under the doors you open the door with it you, you hit it you change it in the back the same story here so this is very practical and also on the back door so you have it on the upper side very very practical thing six parking sensors on the rear as well and also this bumper in the back look phenomenal this is quite unique I, I didn't see a bumper perfectly like that on another car so that's a good thing we have two exhaust pipes that are actually one of it is not fake this one here so you can see right there and here if I'm not wrong it's fake right yes so I like the fact you know, if you look at uh, Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid, it has two exhaust pipes and both of them are kind of real and big in the back. And now you see Honda come with this CRV and they want to show off a little bit aggressive and powerful and at the same time clean, you know. And this is a clean car actually. It's a plug-in hybrid, great, great numbers in consumptions. And yeah, they want to combine sportiness, good looking with comfort and efficiency. Here's the charging port, 6.8 kilowatt, 2.5 hours, you charge it in AC. So that's pretty good, 17.7 kilowatt hour battery. You can go up to 80 kilometers, they say, but maybe in real around 50 kilometers, only in electric mode. And here is the tank, right? And then the rims, I told you, 18 inch rims. I like the combination with white, the glossy black look nice. It's a nice combination and I think 18 inch wheels because we have a lot of rubber are great over the bumps so the suspension and the comfort should be incredible good. And then we have there in the back the brake discs and then in the front we have the ventilated brake discs. So you can see right there nothing uh, complicated there on the, on the wheels. But yeah in general this is the exterior. This is my opinion about the car. So in general I think it's a beautiful attractive car incredible reliable with great great efficiency and I think it's a great competitor now I can say that CRV look really good if the previous version was not so attractive at least for me right now it looks much better good now let's go to the hood from here you open the hood I want to stop the lights as well and also the engine why not uh, you hear the door it sounds really good and I like the fact that here in the front we have an automatic lift gate all you have to do is just with one hand you can open this up and I like that they put a lot of work to the details so we have rubbers here you see those plastic special for air exhaust here and then the sound insulation should be good uh, we will see when we will drive so here is the system, very complicated and very nice array here. I see that everything is array pretty clean. You can tell a lot of things about the engine and the, the way they work on the engine when you look at them. When you look at the engine and this area, you see how clean they work. And Honda, they work engineers, they work really clean and and clear and very nice array here and i can say they leave a lot of space for working on it and also the things that are here are are really really a nice array i should say but anyway here is the engine as i said before plenty of space it looks really cool the 12 volt battery the fuse box liquid cooling some electric parts here that work with the electric motor and here is the thermal engine and yeah Anyway, let's go in the back. Something that I like very much, automatic lift gate, of course. What I like the most here is the fact that the entrance, it's big, that's good thing. Practicality in Honda cars, it's a parallel and equal word because they are incredible good. I like the fact that you can take this protection out very easy and also you can put it here under the floor if you want to but I'm not going to do that I will just take it out for a second because in this way we can see a little bit let me put it slowly we can see a little bit uh, better how much space we have here and look at the space it's incredible big from my point of view huge entrance you can fit in big items without any problem and another good thing is that you have a completely flat floor down here have some plastic at the entrance completely flat you can put your stuff without any problem uh, inside the car so 
yeah, big, big, big space. A lot of space on the left side, some hooks here. You have 12 volt port here. You have your LED, you have hooks, hooks, big speaker, LED. Then you have the triangle, some storage space here. And under the floor, you still have some storage space. Not big, but you still have some storage space. Those are the cables that come standard with the car. And the good part is that you can take this and put it even lower. So if you want to win like six, seven centimeters, maybe you can do it like that. And this is super, super practical. I like that and also easy to do. You can do that also with just one hand, just like that. Super simple. Love it. So practicality, nothing to say, nothing to complain. But I have something to say here in the trunk. And this is it that we don't have any handles to fold down the seats. And also here and not only on this car, but I see this also on other brands, big brands, right? And why is that? Why, why they cannot put a handle there? Anyway, the handle is here. If you want to fold it down, you have to use your, your single hand, but you have to press it. You, you have to use a little bit of more force here. And I like the fact that you can see Honda intelligent. They, they are super good when it comes to seats. So you can see these seats will go all the way down when you press it. Look at this. You press it strongly and it goes a little bit more lower so in this way to give you much more space here so they win a little bit of space and also they can make this a little bit more flatter so that's a good thing you can see also on the other side you do the same thing check this out you press it a little bit firmly harder and then it goes down and here you have a flat floor so that's a good thing you know because you can put your stuff here they will stay straight this is practical and you still have some storage space on the legs room left so this is also uh, another good thing, but this is the space. From my point of view, uh, it's crazy spacious. The only downside, another one that I saw, is not a completely flat floor. You see here you have kind of a step, right? Between the back seats and the trunk. So that's something to keep in mind. It's maybe six centimeters, but I like the way they design it with really good uh, material quality. And then it goes all the way uh, straight here. Also another downside, you cannot fold the middle part of the seats to carry long items. You have to fold the only one and then you just leave that space there. From here, it's crazy spacious. Trust me, you can, you can even sleep here. I mean, you put something here like a mat first and then you have everything flat and you can sleep here. It's crazy, crazy spacious. Really big space here, nothing to complain. From this point of view, nothing, nothing, nothing to say. And also up there you have that beautiful, beautiful glass roof that looks phenomenal from my point of view. Really nice view there, but in general, super, super spacious. That's it crazy good let me put everything back and then uh, we will go inside the car to show you the rest of the car here you have of course the buttons to close it all right now before we go inside the car i want to show you something incredible well designed this is the doors guys how many doors have 90 degrees opening tell me tell me in the comment down below incredible big entrance and it looks like a proper limousine you know when you open this door like completely it's super super high class it signify premium you know and premium it's also the interior with the quality it's very very good so before we go inside i want to show you that we have a big window from one piece and if you want to fold it down where i close the contact i want to show you how much you can fold it down just like that okay good and you go here check this out and you can go with it until here you cannot put it all the way down so that's something to keep in mind another good thing is the fact that everywhere on the door even even if the door is super nice design from my point of view very beautiful you have soft material and leather everywhere so everywhere here on the upper side leather 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 here we have leather on the armrest down here you have some plastic here some plastic we have the speaker a little bit higher crv writing then you have heated seats on the rear free position heated seats that's super useful then you have handles but most of the suv in this class have heated seats on the back handle this is the handle it's also very good quality and then a small speaker here and then a copy honey cups design here uh, really nice integrated let me zoom in a little bit yeah it's super nice quality very good on the door now entrance huge entrance 
look at the entrance really big you can go inside here super super easy huge entrance and also from this angle you can see a little bit better the way it looks in the back here you can see a little bit better the glass roof that looks really cool and you can also open it up and you can see also the lights up there that i will show you in a second but before we go there i want to talk a little bit about the seats check this out you can adjust the seats you can leave it like that if you need more space in the trunk or you can put it all the way on the back. Look at this man, the difference between them. This is all the way on the back. You can almost sleep here. And this is straight away, right? But in the, all this time, you can choose from. So like this is all straight away. So yeah, this is okay. I can drive here, but not for long trips. But I can go a little bit backward or a little bit more or a little bit more or a little bit more. And oh boy, oh boy, all the way on the back. I can even sleep here driving 2,000 kilometers like I drove yesterday, uh, two days in a row. Incredible comfort here. But let me go outside first because I am not finishing here with the seats in this position. Now, when it comes to seats, very good leather, high quality. Also from the side here, it comes really good side support. You can see even down here, the stitches, it feels really stable and really, really good quality. You have Isofix, you can install two child seats in the back. You have an armrest also, everything it's in leather, two cup holders there. So in terms of quality, the seats are really good. It feels really, really stable. I like that. Another good thing is the fact that we don't have a transmission tunnel there. So you have much more space left for your legs and for uh, different items here. And the back of the front seats, leather everywhere, some storage space, super useful this as well. So I like it. I have to say, I like very much the quality. Once I'm going inside the car, let me close the door as well. The quality of the doors is very good. You have a handle here, you have a hook. The quality on the roof is very, very good. From 1 to 10, I will give it an 8. Uh, because 9 and 10, it's Alcantara and other super high class materials, but very good. It feels different. It feels unique. I never felt uh, this kind of uh, material on the roof until now. It's a textile material, but very soft, very gentle. And I like that. Then up here in the middle, you have LEDs with some chrome around them. I like that as well. And also different design up here really nice and then from here you have a nice nice view when it comes to comfort because this is very important on these type of cars it's incredible good when you put the seats on the back look at this i'm, I'm almost straight away here i don't know how many cars offer that uh, for sure not many competitors in this class so it's really really good not only the quality is good but the comfort in the back it's one of the most comfortable car on the back this is my opinion then the visibility is very good big windows another window here great visibility and if you stay a little bit straighter away you have gorgeous visibility outside nothing to say i go my behind myself there is my my driving position i'm 173 centimeters guys and check this out this is not space here look at this almost half of my head look how much space i have i can play with my my legs right i can stretch my legs completely there Check this out. I can almost sleep here, guys. I'm almost straight away. Look at it. I'm almost like in a bed. It's crazy spacious. Yeah. So check this out. Space, incredible on the legs, on the head, of course, a lot of space even here. Here it's a little bit less. Yeah, but here it's crazy, crazy much space. And I like that. I mean, from, from the point of view of space, it's really good. Now here in the middle, we have again this BMW design. I don't know what was the car manufacturer have with those BMW from 98, 95 design here in the back. Uh, in terms of uh, the way it feels, the plastic, it feels really soft and nice. But yeah, the design, I think they can do better. But it's very useful, you know, this design, maybe that's why they use it, because it's useful. I mean, it's clear where the air is going. So that's, that's probably the reason. But good, it feels good quality. Some, some glossy plastic, piano black here and down here. Very useful, two USB-C ports. Great job these days, very useful. And I like that. You don't have a transmission tunnel, that means you can stay with your legs together, right? Just like that, without any problem. You can have three person here in the back, no problem. And on the, on the head also, plenty of space over my head. I can stretch my hand completely, even more than completely, right? Just like that. And I can have here a three person in the back, 
without any problem for long trips. The only thing is that down here it's a little bit stiffer, that's something to keep in mind. On the back it's stiffer, you have to keep in mind that as well. But in general, it's nice, nothing to complain really, it's really really nice place and very well designed with a lot of practicality. Good, we will go in the front where we will see that big big changes. Look at the dashboard, look at the new multimedia, look at the cockpit, look at the center console, everything is new, everything is beautiful. Of course it look a lot of the other brothers from uh, Honda like Civic and like the, the, the other cars but I like it very much. From my point of view um, they look really really nice up to date I should say finally we have something beautiful not only a super reliable engine and system but we have also a nice design and very useful anyway let's go in the front we have a huge window from one piece it's not like in other cars where you have here split another window another window and stuff like that no they make it from one piece and this is great because in the same time you have great visibility in the a pillar and also they design and they install the mirror on the body of the car on the door and you have a great great visibility in terms of design uh, it's very similar with the back one the same leather design leather quality everywhere here here leather 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 we have this glossy plastic piano black with the honey cup design there and then we have the handles very good quality we have two position to set your seats to save the, uh, the seat position and also of course electric adjustable seats here and then you have leather here on the armrest handle you have the button for the windows here they also feel relatively fine not super super high quality but they feel okay then you have lock the window lock the doors adjustable electric mirrors yeah and then folding the mirror electrically from there big mirrors as I said before, really big mirror, so in terms of visibility, nothing to complain. But when it comes to, yeah, I actually forget about the mirrors, if I'm not wrong. Here's the blind spot technology you can see. The mirrors are big, good visibility. Here is the LED light blinker, but the design is also in black. So it's a nice combination with a black glossy, but the design is not so aerodynamic. So that's something that I will definitely do it more aerodynamic for the consumption. Now, when it comes to entrance in the car in the front, the same big entrance, and you can see a little bit better from this angle, also the seats and the interior. And with the glass roof, it looks good. It looks premium. It looks really, really uh, nice. To be honest, I like very much the interior of the car. Here are the adjustments for the seats, electric adjustable seats, lumbar adjustable seats and all that stuff. Then you have the aluminum pedals, also very nice pedals. And then look at the seats guys. Really beautiful design, leather seats, crazy nice design. You have side support, side support. I sit on them, I drive the car before, they are really good quality. The leather feel very stable, like it will last for, for many years. And also the design, it's, it's nice, they are bright, they are nice. You have also these little holes and stitches. They are heated seats, ventilated seats, you have everything on them, so it's very, very good. Down here, you have also the handle to open the frunk, the hood. Then here you have the trunks and the traction control button, a little bit higher, some black piano. Uh, and then you have those new vents that Honda bring it on all models. And I like them very much. And I will definitely, I don't know why they didn't design the same vents, but smaller, some cute vents there in the back. I give them an idea for the next versions of the car. Here, soft material, soft material everywhere. Nothing to complain. Let me go inside. Good, close the door. If you wanna adjust the steering wheel, of course, you have to do it manually. Up, down, forward, backward, simple from behind here. Then you have the Bose sound system. You can see it writing also here on the small speakers on the A pillar. Then you have the head-up display that it's very, very nice and useful. And also on the head-up display is directly on the windshield. I like that very much. And also keep in mind that shows you also the navigation you will see in the test drive videos. Then you have the visibility around the windows, very, very good. Up here you have handles, a microphone, but visibility around the window because it's so big, it's gorgeous. Outside mirrors, window, big windshield, big mirrors, perfect visibility around the car. So nothing, nothing, nothing to complain. You can see one more time in the back, the seats there, 
and then here in the middle the armrest leather opening this some storage space here huge storage space to put different items here and then you have a small space for the key here two cup uh, two cup holders here in the middle then we have a little bit higher design I, they put it a little bit higher that you can change different uh, settings very easily with your hands you can rest your arm here and then easily press different physical button what i like the most is that we have a shift by wire transmission in the middle here electronic handbrake auto hold function very very easy everything it's easy to reach out and to change i like that ergonomy it's very good easy to change and adjust the climatic system they still bring it from the other models and i like that this climatic it's really good we will go in a second there and we have here parking button reverse button neutral and drive super easy and here on the side we have the parking assist the car can uh, assist you so it, it calls honda parking pilot it's unavailable right now but when you press it it allows you to park you know and to choose where you want to park then you have different driving modes from here and you have a few extra driving modes. actually you have normal mode you have you have sport you have normal you have echo and you have snow and you have tow snow and tow mode they are new modes on this new version so that's something to keep in mind in other order down here you have an e and you press this e uh, the car will try to drive in electric mode only if you have enough battery and then you have the downhill assist here a little bit forward i i put my phone here to show you how much space you have it's a great that you have space for two persons so you can you're out with your wife he can leave his phone here and you can put your phone here to charge wireless charging it and i like the fact that they have this button if you don't want to charge it you just press it and you say no don't charge it and you press it yeah charge it you know this is good i like that this is very practical and a lot of space here practical it's also the fact that we have a usb 2 usb c 12 volt port again super useful stuff and very nice designed also this center console here the glove box it's also relatively big but not huge i mean you can put different items but it's not something incredible incredible big then a little bit higher soft material everywhere i like the way they design the dashboard it's really clean beautiful and simple and we have air vents everywhere and from here you can see you change the air vents but the design is go everywhere until the middle and here again we have those air vents design here super nice and cute love it here is the power button so from here you start uh, the car and then we have this climatic system very nice integrated of course with a glossy piano black here and really nice integrated and i like the ambient light it has some ambient light around the wheels here really beautiful you have ventilated seats as i tell you free position heated seats free position for you and a passenger super useful stuff you can turn on the climatic system from here very fast like that and then choose the temperature from here super useful stuff I like very much uh, how it looks and how it feels this climatic system and how simple it is to adjust it so many people will be happy with that now nothing to say there when we go to steering wheel i have to tell you it's very nice it's leather with some stitches good feeling it feels really really stable and nice and good quality and the size and the shape of it is also good because it allows you to have a good visibility from the driver point of view let me go a little bit backward and then you have this brand new digital display from where you can change and adjust different items you can see there the different settings like usb bluetooth application here in the phone so if you go to apps it's no device connected right now and then you have customized display you can hide and show audio and clock you can go back and then you have phones and all that stuff this is cool right so you have a few customizable thing but you have not only here you have also on the right side where you can customize and you can see different information like here you can see the battery and the tank how much uh, kilometer you can still drive the average consumption and kilometer and the speed the average speed and the time and kilometer on the trip a then you have the navigation information and directions and then you have the speed limit the driver safety and all that stuff then you have the seat belt maintenance 
and then safety support here are lane assist blind spot technology blind spot on the rear rear wheel yeah they control you they show you the sensors if it's something behind it, it will break then you have the parking sensors warning and then you have collision mitigation brake system and then you have this front cross drive warning those are all the safety features that you can activate and deactivate from here and then you have also here uh, the information about the uh, um, if I'm not wrong, here are the kilometer to MPG. If you hold here, you can change those, right? This is cool. Let me show you again. So right now you change to miles, and then if you go here, it goes to kilometers. Really, really interesting. And then one is just clear. And then you have the brightness, the head-up display settings, instrument driver again and this is it guys and here you have a nice graphic with what happened with the energy and the, the motors really cool i mean it's not super customizable as on mercedes but it's really really good more than enough for for um, what you need daily i should say uh, now when you change different driving modes as i show you before you see it will show you also a different color but nothing incredible special i should say what i like the most is that the little 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 car from there if i press the brake it will show you the lights if i turn the signals it will show you that if i turn the the high bin it will show you that and the low bin and the... so it's a nice nice car down there in the middle that shows you exactly what your car do so this is also a nice touch so so to say up here some mirror with the lights, this is not LED, it's a bulb light. I think it's the first bulb light that I see on the car. Then you have a glass support, I like that. This is super useful here. And you have also this mirror to see who is behind, who is in the back, the kids and stuff like that. This is also quite useful. And then of course you have the, the LEDs up here to the doors, SOS button. You have also these buttons here for the glass roof. So if you want to make completely dark, you can do it from here electrically. Or you can also open this up just like that. And it will open up till here, I think. Yes, I was right. So just like that. Cool. Everything is electric and it works really fine and clear. And it comes standard on this version really cool but i want to close it yeah and this way you close it completely or you can look you can leave it a little bit higher good let's go to the multimedia now in terms of multimedia you probably saw it on my other reviews and other uh, honda cars and let me show you here you have physical button here on the side you have volume knob here you have some shortcut buttons down here phone fm bluetooth audio dab and then you have the display brightness and then navigation you go directly to the navigation uh, navigation is very good i should say in terms of uh, uh, loading speed for example if you set a destination you choose here a destination and then you go uh, press go new route you will see that it's char it's routing and charging loading relatively fast that means it has a fast processor there uh, it's not super super you know when you play with it when you want to zoom in and zoom out it works a little bit laggy but nothing important to concern you i mean you go here you put your address for example and then you will see that it will work really relatively fast and it's a good navigation once you set up uh, it will show you also on the head of display so you have a lot of great information uh, and uh, yeah it's it's quite quite good i should say so nothing nothing to complain but it's not something incredible uh, good if we go to home on the home button home home screen i should say you have everything all the settings and you have like three pages here and here you have the message clock wi-fi search for station manual owner manual now it's it's in in display as well and then you have the trip computer so you can see trip a trip b consumption if you want to go back you go back from this button here from the side you have the power flow that shows you what happened with the energy while you're driving how much range you have in the thermal engine and here is the electric range going back we have the vehicle settings here all the settings on the vehicle like deflation warning driver assistance systems like all that adaptive cruise control and all that stuff you can activate and deactivate them from here so all the brakes and safety system driver position setup keyless setup light setup from here you can 
uh, change those setups and you can change the way you want to have everything so this is also very useful and very simple they keep it quite quite simple here meter and head up display and we have the driver assistance systems right here head up warning and stuff like that you saw them before now if we go to general settings you will see that here we have all the important settings we go to system settings date and time language system volume uh, refuel recommendation about factory reset and all that stuff if we go here we have smartphone connectivity connection display sound camera all those uh, settings are here yeah and then uh, we have the plug-in hybrid menu because it's a plug-in hybrid you can charge the car you have also uh, schedule the charging and you can choose the current settings you know and all kind of settings pre-condition pre-journey settings you can set up before uh, leaving the 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 place the home and you can also schedule the climatic system from the application honda app this is also great and in general smartphone connection here you can connect your uh, phone uh, i made a video about that so you can check it out on the channel on how to connect your apple car uh, iphone uh, to this uh, multimedia system so check it out in general this is the the multimedia system it's nothing uh, special or different than the other honda version from 2023 and it's a nice one much much better than what was before so in general i think i cover everything guys so i hope you get a lot of useful information from this video i hope the video was useful if you still have question ask me down below whatever question you have i will answer with pleasure also if you want to see the test drive i will have a test drive video with the car where i will give you the consumption and a lot of information about how it's on the road i hope you find this video useful and you find a lot of useful information in it thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video i really appreciate it. so thank you very much guys also don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that if you want to see the car if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out werner blunier center honda center in bern I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out they are very nice so definitely check them out my rating for this crv plug-in hybrid from 1 to 10 taking into consideration the price and the offer i will give it a 9.8 i think the price is a little bit higher even though it offers a lot of great super great feature and the engine and this hybrid system it's really good also on honda make incredible cars I still think that the price is a little bit higher, at least here in Switzerland. So maybe in your country it's better the price, then probably the rating will be different. But 9.8 is my rating. Great car. I think it's definitely a car to take into consideration if you are searching a car in this class. Go test drive it, go see it and see for yourself. Anyway, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.